This presentation shows how to retrieve data from the OpenIceCat catalog, and how to place it in your webshop, using key to publish, IceCat, implementation. To make use of OpenIceCat you need to register as new user and create a profile, if you do, you will receive a username and password, to log in. In this profile, you also can specify the country from which you want to obtain product data. After you have created and saved your profile, you go to the My Price List tab, to tell IceCat of which products you want to receive the product information. To do that, you click on the Edit Import Settings button, and there you import an Excel or CSV file, you made for this cause. This file contains columns with the AN codes, part numbers, vendor names and product numbers from your own products. Besides Excel you can use also CSV and XML file formats, if your file contains a header you need to tick this option. Finally you need to assign or link the fields in your file to those of IceCat. It is also possible to show offers in the IceCat.biz comparison site. For that, you have to have more information in the import file and link more product data. We go now with the short option, and are linking the fields in the imported file to those of IceCat. When you save the settings, IceCat starts searching for related information. Here you can see that IceCat matched 273 products. Only one isn't matched, because it was a duplicate. In the meantime the loaded data is being parsed, a run input button, is emerged. By clicking this button the download file will be generated. At the My Downloads tab we can download the new data file. This file contains the information from your original file enriched with information from IceCat. Clicking this button will download the data set. As you can see here, is the file downloaded and ready for further use. CSV export in other languages. If the import settings are correct, you don't have to repeat all the steps every time. But you can download your CSV file just in a few steps. To show that key to publish works with all languages and characters we now going to download a Russian dataset. At my profile we need to change the language of Dutch into Russian. Because the other settings are already set as desired, we can go directly to the download section. Here we generate a new, in this case Russian, dataset. The file is downloaded, and we open it in OpenOffice. We see that OpenOffice has problems with the large number of columns. But do not worry, you will not experience this problem with importing and uploading this kind of data with Key to Publish. IceCat data imported and presented in Key to Publish. If we import the same IceCat file in Key to Publish, we see that the data is presented in a tree structure which gives a better overview in comparison with the long list of products you get in a spreadsheet program. Key to Publish works flawlessly with strange characters and languages. It is also possible to make use of online images. This by inserting URLs in the image fields. The data tree is customizable. For this, many functions are available. Like drag and drop. You can also create an entirely new group structure. Now we create a group called test and drag the group Sony in it. We select a number of products in this group. If we export this selection using the web export, they will also be placed in the web shop under the group test in the web shop. Here we see the shop. If we refresh it, we see that the group test has been added, including subgroups and products. Through the URL in the data, the images are taken directly from the IceCat website and directly placed in webshop. Similarly, 
we can put data it in an existing group in the webshop, as we will show in the group juice makers. The easiest way is to just change the HP group in juice makers. But first we will add prices to the products, because we did not want to show our fictitious prices in the icecat.biz comparison site, there are no prices in the icecat product feed we did download. With key to publish you can add prices from other files or your ERP system, via the update function. Like shown here. Where we synchronize the prices from the prices erp.k2z file, from the ERP system, with the current dataset, and see that the prices are added. If we export the selected data, we will add a group of products under the group juice makers and update the products in the group test as we can see if we refresh the page. We also see that the prices have been added to the products belonging to the group test. 